Hey guys, it's Adam Mark from AdamMark2009.com here for another video for the tech peeps. Today I'm going to show you how to take a color photo and make part of it black and white while leaving the rest in color using Photoshop. Okay, as you can see here, we got this picture of Brian's motorcycle. And say, for instance, I want to have only the motorcycle in color while the rest be black and white. So first you're going to go to your background and you're going to drag it down to the second icon from the right which will duplicate the background. Or you can also uh, right click or control click and go to duplicate layer. It's the same thing. Now with this duplicate layer you're going to want to go up to image, adjustments, hue and saturation or uh, command U. Now in this, this is where you can adjust all your colors and everything. See, we can even make the bike yellow, but it messes up the background. So we're just going to leave that at zero. And we can drag the saturation all the way down for completely black and white. Or I kind of like to leave it a hint of color, so you can kind of see it there. But we're going to go a little bit darker than that. You can also mess with the lightness and brightness. But we're going to leave it on zero for this picture. Now there are many ways to cut out the picture you're going to do. But the most exact and precise way would be using the uh, polygon select tool. This is the polygon select tool. It might be under the lasso tool originally, but you want to go to polygon. Once you have the polygon selected, it's going to show these different options up here, and you're going to make, make this like 3, and then hit enter. Okay, and then just carefully start selecting. Okay, now that once you got the selection made, now I don't have the whole bike, I just did a piece of it. But once you have your selection made, just go ahead and hit delete, and what make sure before you hit delete that you're on the top layer that you made uh, black and white or in this case uh, semi black and white and once you're back and just go ahead and hit delete okay basically what it does is it's letting the the color from the bottom layer shine through the the hole you cut out in the top layer now all I have to do is go ahead and finish up the rest of the bike. Now once you're done you'll find that you'll have pretty much everything that you want to have in color like this I have everything red in color now once you've done all the erasing you can actually go ahead and keep adjusting the uh, hue and saturation you can you can make it completely black and white if you want to or you can uh, you can darken it or you can you can do what, whatever you want to to it if you need to make some minor adjustments I think I'm just gonna just gonna leave it right where it was so I'm gonna hit cancel another cool effect you might want to try is under adjustments and exposure um, on the second one the offset drag the offset down just a little bit um, I'm gonna go with it right there and hit OK. Now another thing that I don't like about this picture is this nasty watermark. So what we're going to go ahead and do while we're on the uh, top layer we're going to go over here to the clone stamp tool and go ahead and hold option and it'll give you this little plus. Now just click somewhere where the ground or the background behind the timestamp is showing through and it's going to make a like a clone stamp and see what happens now when I drag it up here is it will cover over this and notice the little plus will follow you along 
but first I gotta fix my hardness and drag my hardness a little bit like 70% or so I'm gonna put the plus down a little bit further now in here on the tire it's gonna be real tricky you're gonna want to have a smaller con stamp Now to fix this spoke here, it's going to be really tricky. i um, going to go as close as I can to the to the, um, the timestamp with the crosshairs and click. And just kind of click by click, work my way down. Now I'll go ahead and use the hold option again and use the plus to grab out here and get rid of the timestamp there and in here now the base of the spoke we're just gonna have to kind of fake and you can go ahead and go a little bit farther than you need to and just make sure to get rid of all that timestamp now to go along the rim here and then grab that and if you zoom out it doesn't look too bad it looks kind of blotchy so one thing we can do to fix that since we used a round cone stamp just just use your uh, polygon select tool select the area that you fixed using the cone stamp And go up here to filter and then under blur Gaussian blur now what you're gonna have to do just depends on what you're doing but just play with the radius a little bit probably the smaller number the better and make sure you have this preview box checked that way you can watch and see if you're if, you, if the fix has been done that looks pretty good and go ahead and deselect that and it probably won't be exactly right, but it will be better than the timestamp. Here's the before and after.